Oh, I'm leaping. I'm leaping this week. Oh, I'm leaping. I'm leaping. Oh, I'm You're leaping. not leaping because I'm oh, doing I'm the leaping. leaping. Oh, I'm leaping. Oh, I'm leaping. Autumn leafing, 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 Episode 2, Season 2, Disco Inferno, April 1st, 1976. Where April are we? April Fools. Where? Oh, I'm leaping. I'm not April Fools. Ha, I got you. So when is it and where is it? Mm. It's... When are we? More like, where is it? It is April 1st, 1976. More like, I'm leaping. A year before Saturday Night Fever came out. Don't know what that means. And where is it? California? Hollywood? Hollywood. It's Hollywood. Hollywood, maybe. Looks like it. Big time Hollywood, baby. What was that? What? Do you know what's up? Did you see Austin Wells come in? Yeah. He's going out about um, Hollywood, baby. Hollywood, baby. Nuns, Paris, Church, Mice. Did you enjoy this episode? I did. It's back to it, isn't it? It's fun again. Yay! A couple of episodes fun. where it wasn't fun. Now it's fun again. Back on a fun one. Oh, it's the roller fun stuff. <laughs> oh, dipping. Dipping. <laughs> dipping. And dipped. Ah, oh, it's up again. It's the roller fun stuff. Mm. Fun again? It's not It's not those, those crazy heady heights of the Pepsi Max, is it? Yeah, whatever. Let's get into the crux of it. Um, Potential leap engine. You can now not shut up. Thanks. Potential leap engine. Potential leap engine. What is it, leap engine? Potential leap engine. Yeah, a leap engine is the thing he has to do to leap into the next episode. Who? Scott Bakula. Sam Beckett. Our non-dog face friends, because we like him again. He's got full-on dog face, though. Yeah, let's just say he has dog face. Let's get it out of our system now, okay? Three, two, one. Potential leap engines. Potential leap engines. Number one. Give the Gibbs brothers. Wait, shut up. Number one. Leap engine put number that, one. Put that down. Leap engine number Pot one. Put it down. Number one. Leap engine Potential number one. Leap Give engine. the Gibbs brothers. What? BG's on in it. You guessing again? The lyrics to Saturday Night Fever. Are you just gonna get me guessing, or the BG's gonna be in this? It's a disco. It's it starts off all disco. He's doing the disco dance. I'm like. Maybe at some point he's going to meet the Gibbs brothers and give them the lyrics to Saturday Night Fever because this was out before Saturday Night Fever. The episode is set. Next. Leap Engine number leap engine. two. To get his brother his union card. Because he's a stuntman? Yeah. He's like, oh, oh. I'm going to do the big stunt at Has and Wells. Got some chills. <laughs> Leaf engine number three. You're gonna count them all. Um, is yeah. it to get a monkey bump? <laughs> what? To get a monkey bump? I don't. Uh, what? What is that? Tracy says. Oh, good job. Who's having... Tracy? The woman that that wants to um get with Chad. Who's Ch oh? Scott Bakula. Yeah. You know Tracy? She says, I've got a monkey bum. <laughs> <laughs> she says that Chad's got a hickey. And Chad's like, oh, you got a hickey. no. I've got a monkey bum. And she's like, oh, at least it's not a monkey bump. Number five. Uh, leap engine number five. Potential leap engine. To stop his brother getting burnt alive. That's the BTI, isn't it? Because... His brother, Chris. The Disco BTI. Stop. Up. What is his brother's name? Chris. The little boy. You can't <laughs> be trusted to jump in because it's called Chris. Because Chad uh, would let him. You're going to die in a fire. Monkey bumps. 
Just remembered Mumpy, Monkey Mumpy Bumps. <laughs> it's called Disco Inferno. Chris is like, not me. He's like, oh, I've got... hot dang! I got my, I got my fire stunt tomorrow. It's Molly. She's Molly. Hot dang! I got my fire stunt tomorrow. Hot dang! I got monkey bumps. So Chris is like, monkey bump. Oh, that's <laughs> <what we're smelling. laughs> Chris is like, monkey bump. I got my I got my fire stunt tomorrow. And it's called Disco Inferno mm. Fire. He's got a fire stunt. I'm like Nissan BTI. I'm like oh. <laughs> Ready? I'll do it. I'm like that son of a gun's um gonna have to stop him being burnt alive. That son of a that What's the name? That goddamn not... son of a monkey bump. That son of a bacula. Um, it wasn't that though, was it? No, of course it's not. It's never the BTI. I know. Come on, we know that better now. We know that better. <laughs> Chris, we know that better. <laughs> not the BTI better. Um, all right, should we go through mine? Yes. Knock, knock, knock. What? I'd knock on your door and you'd look the other way. Knock, knock. Someone in the house. Ah, oh, I'm leaping. Ah, oh, I'm leaping. Ah, oh, I am leaping. Ah, oh, I'm leaping. Excuse me, gang. I need to get the oh, door. Ah, I'm leaping. Ah, oh, I'm leaping. Knock, knock, knock. Ah, <coughs> <laughs> you open the door. Oh no! Bye. Um, <coughs> all right, let's start at the beginning. Hot dang! Monkey bump at the door. I am number one. <laughs> Potential leap engine. Um. Get shot through a window. Get full on blasted through the the window with a shotgun. <laughs> you thought that was gonna be the leap engine? Potential leap engine. Oh, and you thought him meeting the Bee Gees would be it? Good, yeah. That's not even in the episode. Yeah, no, it might yeah, have been. Why you thought that thing that actually happened? It could have happened. So like it's like, oh disco episode. Oh fun. And then follow yeah. the shotgun just bounces in and you're like It's like disco. Bring your gun to a disco, and then he yeah. points it at the back here, and you're like... But then he shoots the back here, and you're like... What? And then Scott Bakula doesn't die, and you're like... <laughs> and then he's going to tell you something. Next one! Potential uh, leap engine. Is it getting in touch with his feelings? Like wearing a ring. <laughs> You need to get in touch with your feelings so the ring goes blue. Sorry, what number leap engine was this? Potential leap engine. Uh, two. Uh, next one, the BTI. Chris is gonna die. Make him not die. And I was like, uh, yo fam, y your home dog is gonna die. Make him not die. Um, this is the BTI. We talk about the BTI. They are, they are stuntmen. Yeah. They are bad. Good. You got dead. They are die, maybe. They have not died, maybe. Oh, I am leaping. They are stuntmen. They are bad, maybe. Mm -hmm. They are not ma bad, maybe. They die, maybe. They not die. Oh, I am leaping. Oh, I am leaping. Monkey bump. Yeah. Bunky Mump? A dad, a older brother, a younger brother, Scott Bakula's the older brother. Mm. He's told that the younger brother is going to die in two days. He doesn't know how. He uh, doesn't know where. Yeah. He doesn't know why. So Scott Bakula's on high alert, isn't he? Yeah, it's like... It's probably stunts, though, isn't it? Like, what are you doing, SP? Whoa, what? Are you, oh, you're like on high alert? Oh, no. Monkey bump stuff. Potential leap engine. Um, remember Tom three. Beckett? This is I like this bit where it's like all the way through, like I want to remember my brother, and I was like, you, you are. I don't remember him. Who? Mm -hmm. My brother. It's like, well, you do. Yep. I don't remember that he had um some boss predator shoes. And he was in the Navy. Yeah, remember Tom Bakula? But he was an athlete. Football, basketball, lacrosse, 
Netball. Swimming. Bowling. Navy. Darts. Badminton. Bowls. Garn. Garn bowls. Lawn bowls. Tennis. Up, up bowls. Oh, I love up bowls. Pogo stick. Monkey bumps. Oh, and I'm, oh, and I'm leaving. <laughs> Next. Potential um, leap engine. Hit on your little brother's bed again. You better not hit on my girlfriend. And Scott Bakula's was like, I promise I won't. And then I'm like, I promise he will. Scott Bakula. And then he doesn't. He doesn't he doesn't hit on anyone this episode. No, it's kinda nice. He does like kiss that woman. Tracy? Yeah. Mm. Don't know who she is though. Um Potential Leap Engine. Yap on about Tom and MIT. Uh blah 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 blah. Going on about MIT. Tom was the one that told me to go to Yemen. Boring. Told him to go to Yemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boring. Oh, uh, yapping on about where you went to college. Oh, uh, don't care. Where's Al? Where's Ira? Um, next up is put up, put up Dukes and fight his dad. Mm. He's like, come here, son. Put up your Dukes. And Scott Bakula's like, oh, him. And then Chris is like, <laughs> yeah. I don't remember that. I just remember him saying, come on, son. Put up your Dukes. When he's all drunk. Yeah. But, how, lo- how long have you been in the pub for? Hot damn, about a six pack. Oh, that was cool. That was cool, wasn't it? Yeah, six beers. <laughs> That's not as cool. <laughs> Hot damn, about, I've been here for about one monkey bump. <laughs> don't know what that is, put up your dukes. I'm going to go put your dukes up, put up your monkey bumps. Let's go outside and have a monkey bump. So, I don't know what the monkey bumps <laughs> means anymore. Next one. Potential leap um, engine. Um, Find out that your brother died in Vietnam. Oh, he did, didn't he? That, I, like, that's one of that was a very, very good quantum leap moment. Mm. Like, oh, the Raxon. It'd be, it'd be weird if he was on the side of the Viet Cong, wouldn't it? Don't know what that means. So, oh, the brother. Mm. What you meant, Scott Bakula? No, no, don't do that, stunt. I'm on the side <laughs> of the Viet Cong. <laughs> I'm on the side of the Viet Cong. Did you just say you're on the side of the Viet Cong? Gonna go to Vietnam now. Are you gonna go to be on the side of the Viet Cong? Sure, I am. <laughs> okay. Next one. Potential leap engine. Prove that you have stone blood. You gotta prove that you got stone blood, son. Oh like, damn! Got stones for his blood. Yeah, it all gravel. Cut it. And it's just gravel. <laughs> what? Put, stop putting gravel everywhere. What blood just type are you? Just one big rock. Oh, gravel. Oh, gravel. Oh, oh boy. boy. Um, and the last one is... Potential leap engine. Bet the man falls off the plane in open <laughs> bracket. OMG, OMG, GL. That man is a stuntman president. <laughs> <gasps> stuntman president? I bet that that man is not a stuntman president. Oh, I bet it is. And then Gerald Formby... Falls off the plane and Chris gets to be a musician. It's really weird, isn't it? It's yeah. rather tacked on at the end. Part two. 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 <laughs> part two. <laughs> Next part. Who is the rival? One, the fella shooting him through a window. <laughs> yeah, not the rival. Two, danger. Danger? Danger is the rival. No, it's stunts. No, it's danger. Yeah, what is stunts? Huh? What is stunts? What is stuntis? Stuntis a danger. Mm. Oh. Stuntis a danger. <laughs> Next part. What is going on at HQ? In brackets, what is Al dealing with? This is a mental HQ. It hasn't been a HQ this mental in forever. I liked it. I thought it was funny. Ziggy has crashed. Yeah. And he started doing crazy things like putting the extra zeros on people's paychecks. So everyone's gone on holiday. <laughs> yeah. Bunchy gave everyone a pay rise and everyone's on vacation. And he is now broken. Yeah. So he's like, what are we going to do? Oh, he's like, don't know. Write this in, write it this week. 
Bronchi. Ziggy, Ziggy's broken. Yeah, Bronchi's Japanese now. Oh, and he turns Japanese. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Japanese. Ziggy, Konnichiwa. Javis. David Konnichiwa. <laughs> Konnichiwa. What other Japanese words are there? I don't know. Um, Ziggy goes Japanese, gives everyone pay rises. Everyone goes on holiday. No one can help out. Why is Ziggy SB. doing the wages? Because he's the robot. Oh, he's uh, he's in the office doing that. Yeah, here is the money. Uh, 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 uh. Ziggy, no, oh, I am Japanese now. I am uh, on the side of the Viet Cong. Uh, konnichiwa. 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 David, konnichiwa. 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 Am I doing it good anymore? <laughs> I don't know. Konnichiwa. Yeah, it goes a Z- bit, it goes a bit, um, what, John Lydon? Um, butter. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Uh, a rude word. What other Japanese words are there? I don't know. Next part is the clothing. They have so many clothing this week. Scott Bakula, clothes number one is a white suit with a red shirt and gold platform shoes. This is what we see him at the start of the episode. It looks down through. and he's like, whoa. Yeah. Your massive gold platforms on. Mm hmm. So that was like, boss. Keep them on. He was like, no, I'm going to change into a boss brown silk shirt and white pants covered in blood. Yeah. That, but the, it's like his silk shirt looked proper comfy. Mm-hmm. There's like gold chain. I was like, where did his dog face go? All I can see is this <laughs> handsome chap with dog face. <laughs> is he on the side of the Viet Cong? <laughs> Um, oh. Did he stay in that costume outfit? No, he changed into a shirt, tie, and boss wig. <laughs> I am business boy. <laughs> oh, you got, you got dog face now. <laughs> Businessman, and I gotta fall off the thing. Mm. Then he fell off, and then he changed into his flower shirt with brown leather waistcoat. The waistcoat was like cool but horrible. That shirt was horrible. Um, this yeah, little this, flowers on it. Yeah, that didn't work at all. Then he went into a denim shirt with more flowers on it. I was like, I don't know if I like it or hate it. It kept like switching it all the time. The denim shirt with flowers yeah, on? Yeah, denim shirt and yeah, flowers here. Yeah, that was horrible. That was really horrible. Was it bad? Yeah. I it had like, a little bee on it. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's, supposed <to> be <laughs> He's supposed to be like a tough cowboy. He's a st- Hot damn monkey bump. I'm going to get the one with the bee. <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna get the one with the bee. Hiya, chat. I'm gonna get the one with the bee. Um, then he changed into a boring plaid shirt. Oh, uh, boring. Then the last one, one was a shirt with houses and trees on it. I don't remember that. At was the it, end, was when it as cool as it tell- sounds? Yeah, at the end, he's watching telly and he talks to Al in the kitchen. And he's like, when am I going to leave home? And he's like, well, after, right now, because that's what the script says. Yeah. He's like, what? And I was like, he's got houses, like loads of houses on and trees. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> um, was there only one person wearing clothes in this? No, there was only two. Al. What was Al wearing? He was wearing a suit, normal suit, obviously too big. And yeah. he had the thinnest grey tie in the world. Mm-hmm. Thinnest shiny tie. Future clothes. He then changed into, which is like, this was the, 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 the one for him, was a genuine 100% high-grade polyester jacket with a flower shirt and man bag. I believe Virgin was in there as well. Oh, <clears throat> sorry, Al. Does he stock well? He sure does. Does he stock well? It's only genuine, a hundred percent virgin, high grade polyester jacket with flower shirt and man bag. He does stock well. Sushi, in South America. What can Al walk through? Al walked through the rafters. Yeah, but the rafters are on fire. Yeah, fire and debris and back again. Like, uh. Ooh. The the other one is more fallen debris and SB's hand when he's trying to get grabby with the photo of his dead brother. Um, well, that's all he walked through. Invention of the week. Mm. They're getting lazy with the inventions. Did they invent anything? Um, I put that he invented that Saturday Night Live sketch. 
like oh is this this thing and they're like what are you on about and then yeah. it happens and they're like you know menace Scott tries to cover up. He's like, oh, it's on, it's on like a three hour tape delay. And, and my someone, mate tells me. Yeah, someone phoned me up. I went, hey, hey you got to watch Saturday Night Live tonight. Chevy Chase falls over a desk and it's funny. Hello. Coneheads are on Family Fortunes. <laughs> eh, eh. Bet your Bill Murray was on the side of the Viet Cong. Viet Cong? <laughs> Ziggy Chevy? Same with cone heads. Huh? Who's hotter? Chad. Chad is, isn't he? He's, yeah. he's broke every bone in his body. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Do you know what? Chad wasn't hotter. Scott Bakula was. I think Chad was. Mm. Because it, it would cut to Chaz. Chad. 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 And you're like, oh, that's a handsome man. And then it would cut back to Scott Bakula and you'd be like, oh. Watch out, you nearly poked my eyes out with your big dog face. <laughs> uh, can I ask you a question? Sure. Who or what is a Zizzy? Ziggy. Yeah. Ziggy's the the lad who does the wages. The Japanese lad who does the wages. <laughs> and he's a robot. You'd have to... How do we end this episode? <laughs> with picture, pictures. <clears throat> what pictures are on the end of this episode? Um, Stop you right there. There is none. There is Chris's annoying song. There was no pictures. No, they played Chris's song. Oh, the song where he's definitely playing the guitar. Where he's and definitely singing. playing the guitar and singing, but like his another voice and sound is coming from. Yeah, his because hand and he's mouth. a little boy and he yeah. sounds like this. Oh damn, monkey bumps! And then when he's singing, he sounds like Joe Cocker. He sounds like this. <laughs> Is that it for that episode? Yeah. No, because he leaps. Oh, I forgot where. Oh, he leaps into a sailor. Oh, oh. boy. What? Am I f Popeye or son? What am I f eating spinach or son? Oh, my eye, Bye-bye. Is that f***ing olive oil or something? Ah, oh, you're eating spinach. Oh, you'll give me a f***ing burger f today or something. Spinach. Ah. Uh, Popeye, pop it in me pipe. Oh, f***ing spinach. Oh, it's going to go all big down my arm then back. Uh, yeah, I'm going to shit it out and it's still spinach. So what's going to happen? He wins a battle of the bands. Uh, but <laughs> everyone in the band plays saxophone. It's like, whoa, what is this? And it's like, oh, it's quantum leap. There's this tape. And then they go, oh, no facts. I'm saxophone man. And then it's come back and like, oh. What do you think's going to happen? Hot dog eating contest. Hot dog eating contest. He it's it's going to turn it. out and he's like, oh, I'm sailor. I don't my Popeye or something. And then everyone will be like, hey, Popeye, the famous hot dog eating contest. Why are you wearing a sailor's outfit? And they'll be like, oh, I don't know. Oh, see ya. Oh, see ya.